Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. Today we're going to be fishing on Strom Thurmond Lake down in South Carolina. Now we've never fished this lake before for catfish so we're going to try a few techniques and see if we can't put a few catfish in the boat. Joining me on today's show is going to be co-host Caleb Rice from Table Rock Outdoors. So stick around, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. This week's Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV is brought to you in part by Camelback Hydration Systems. Do you have a camel on your back? And by Bolay Sportswear and Sunglasses. Also by Buckbuster Scents. Scents for the serious hunter. And by Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply. Hunting and fishing products at an affordable price. And also by the fine folks at the Triad Bait Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Hey folks, want to keep up with the Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV team? It's an easy thing to do. Just like us on Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. And you'll be able to keep up with the behind the scenes clips, bloopers, news and videos, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Like us today. I told her, I said, we don't even doing that. I said, hell, he's, he's taking over the damn boat. Well, Any way you want to do it there, I'm, Captain I'm, Captain I'm, Rice Man? I'm ready to catch something. <laughs> You're ready to get something? I'm, I'm still, this guy, I was he still ain't, a little dizzy from all this, the parking lots who had to turn around this, and to get here. This guy is really serious. He ain't waiting for you to get the boat swung around. <laughs> I'm down. Okay. Watch this plane pretty. Anyways, I didn't go deep enough, but that's all right. Just sew them right down through with back. And come out his tail. Okay? Just like that. That way Mr. Striper thinks, man, that's a real fish. And then, hold on, let me get us under control. I need to throw a drift sock, off, sock out here. And then we start on one side and just wing them on out. And they'll all come together. And then we'll pull this one up, and that one will go in there. And while you're doing the next one, I'm going to put a drift sock out so we can keep the boat straight, okay? Let's do it. Sock and see if that'll run a straight. Instead of putting out two, there's not that much wind today. It don't get any prettier than that, you see. So I'm just going to say. Do what? I just don't get any prettier than this one. We can cut them if we have to, too. Okay? Oh, we're going to catch some big ones. 
a big bait. Okay. Yeah, now see where we're, while well, the boat's turned, so what you can do is just throw it over that one, and then just move that to number two. There you go. And we'll put him in there. Lock the bell there, right? Uh, yeah, for now, until we get them out, then we'll see how much line we have out, and then we will adjust here current accordingly. Well, folks, we told you we'd give you a live event here from Storm Thurman Lake down here in South Carolina. We're on the boat. We finally made it down here, as you can see. We've got our rod set up. And that guy right there, that guy is itching to grab that rod. That's Caleb Rice from Table Rock Outdoors. He's coming down co-hosting the show today. We're going to catfish down here tonight. We're going to hopefully catch catch some catfish down here we got a lot of bait and everything and then tomorrow morning we're gonna catfish a little bit but the major part of this trip is that tomorrow afternoon we are headed down to Lake Murray to jump on the boat with Jason Bennett from Bennett's Guide Service they're gonna catch some stripers down there so it's gonna be a really cool next couple of days I promised you a few live streams and that's what we're doing we got our camera lady back there and she's just a filming away and we're hoping we're not going to get stormed on because we got a little bit of bad weather. But, um, hey, we're on the lake. We're hopefully going to catch some fish. So, listen, if you want to follow us over the next couple of days, either up here or over there, there'll be a little thing that says follow. If you hit that follow and every time we go live, you'll know about it. So, we will be doing some more live streaming here. Maybe tonight, if I can get Caleb to catch a fish. Uh... <laughs> Or uh, definitely tomorrow when we're on the boat down there on Lake Murray. So we'll be back in a little bit. We'll catch you later. Thanks for tuning in. All right. I don't know. First fish of the evening. Is he on there? Yeah, we'll, well, we'll take we'll anything. See. We'll take anything. Let's see. What, there you go. Run from the boat. You ain't going to win. <laughs> First fish of the night, folks. Look at this little rascal here. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Kennel cat. Ooh, listen to that. Uh-huh. Well he took the tail off, didn't he? That's short from what we're looking at looking to catch today. But hey, we'll take anything. We'll take it. Nice hybrid channel cat. Alright. I don't like the sound of that thunder, but hey. Oh, did you see him go? One fish in the boat. I mean, we're right on the edge of that storm. I don't believe we're going to get much of it. Ah, fine. We're going to get some, some yellow. I don't know what the yellow is. I guess that could be, be careful, you know? That could be white one. Good. I don't want to have to unhook him. Them small ones. You got one? I just decided to pull for a minute there, I guess. Well, maybe you've got a bigger fish than you think. I see him there. See? What's that? Heck? Well, He's been on there for 10 minutes. He's been on there for 10 minutes, <laughs> hasn't he? <laughs> well, that fish we just kept hitting it and just kept hitting and just kept hitting. We didn't think we had one on there. He's bigger than that other fish. He wasn't even fighting. We've been dragging this fish, folks, for probably, what, 100 feet? Probably. And, uh, <laughs> let me get you there, Caleb. Probably 100 feet we've been dragging this channel cat. We just didn't realize we even had one on there. He wasn't... He wasn't loading up the rod tip, so we didn't know, but, uh, all right. Yeah, he's been on there for a little while. Yeah, that's all right. Hey. Yep, he's on. He's on. Two on fish. the boat. Two fish in the boat. Good eating size through here. Yeah, now if you're going to bring some home to eat them, that's just what you need to have right there. Got that sucker buried in there. Water. Here you go. Get him. Yeah, them are good eating size. No blue, no Arkansas blues yet. Just uh -uh. all channel cats so far. But um, we're using really big baits. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the bait here we're pretty using. Pretty fish though. Real pretty fish. But uh, let me show you what we're doing. That's the size herring we're using right there. Now, that's a pretty good size herring. And what we're doing is the way a lot of the guides do it down on Santee Cooper. The way I've always done it is we come through the head, some will go through the eyeball socket, but, and then all I'll do is I'll come all the way down this fish, and I'll put the hook in there, and I'll kind of just sew it in and out of him. 
all the way down. And the last time that I go through, you want to go through deep so you can almost feel it hitting the backbone. I come out, I come out and pull the hook around and I stick that hook out so that it's just like so. And that way you've got that hook out there and, and a lot of these catfish, they're coming up behind this bait like so. And when they come up, they're going to grab that bait. And when they do, they're going to get stuck with that, that hook. It's the first thing in the, their mouth they're going to get. I don't know if Caleb's got a fish or we got to hang it here, but let me get on this side of the boat. Got a fish? Just hang. Oh, well. Okay. But anyways, that's what we're doing. And we're throwing them out and letting them drag about 100 yards, 100 feet or so behind the back of the boat. I'm moving at about point. 0.5 to 0.7 miles per hour. Uh, we were moving slower, like Caleb said, you know, we might pick up the speed a little bit. Uh, maybe we can provoke strike, strikes, and it seems like that's what's going on. So we're going to play that game for a while and see what happens, folks. Got it? Hello folks, are you as passionate about the outdoors like I am? Then tune in each week to Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV or Carolina Outdoor Magazine Radio and catch all the action we have to share with you each week in the great outdoors. Whether you enjoy hiking or camping, or maybe you're a hunting or fishing junkie like I am, you'll be sure to find something you'll enjoy on our show. You can tune in to all the action on our website at carolinaoutdoormagazine.com, Wild TV, or America One Television, as well as being able to download our shows on YouTube at The Outdoor Sportsman. And be sure to listen in to our weekly radio show on Saturday mornings on many North and South Carolina AM and FM stations, or get our podcast on our website or on our Facebook page at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. This portion of Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV is brought to you by Table Rock Outdoors and also by Jason Bennett Guide Service and by Buckbuster Sense. Welcome back, folks. If you're just tuning in this week, we're going to be fishing on Strom Thurman Lake in South Carolina. We're going to be doing a little bit of cat fishing, and on the boat with me today is going to be co-host Caleb Rice from Table Rock Outdoors. We've never fished this area before for catfish, and today we're going to try a few techniques to see if we can't put a few catfish in the boat. Now you get three rods on. You are determined to catch fish today, we're ain't you? Catch some daggum fish. Good gosh, three rods out already. Let that be a lesson, guys. Bring you, bring a good co-captain on the boat with you because it do all the work for you. <laughs> Especially if you bring an anxious one that wants to catch fish. <clears throat> I ain't out here for my good looks. That's right. That's a good bottom too. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we're gonna have to drift very much. Look at that. Got one on after that. Oh, we're doing now it's just bottom. That's what I like. That's, That's fish. fish. Lost. Oh. Yeah. Ah. What happened? We got rained out last night, guys. And uh, caught them few fish and we got rained out. So we decided let's just call it quits. Come back in. It was getting late. And this place I have fished before, it's a place they call Catfish Creek. And it's already living up to its name. Caleb just threw these two rods out. We've already had two misses. But um, a different day, different time. 
storm's gone by. It's gonna be really warm today. In a few hours, we're gonna be on the boat with Jason Bennett down here in Lake Murray. But uh, we thought we'd catfish up here and try to put some catfish in the boat and finish this show. So we'll see what happens. And um, Caleb's getting his last rod out and they're working really good. I'll explain to you here a little bit later what we're doing and exactly how we're fishing here so you got a, a better idea about what's going on. Fish on! Yeah! Oh, that's a good fish. That's Get a good it. fish. Right. Yeah, that's a good fish. There we go. He followed that thing quite a ways. Come on, Betsy! First fish of the morning, guys. Been out here five minutes. Five minutes. Feels like a little bit better one than what we had last night. I'm going to bring him up on this side of the boat here. He's driving them with us one. There may be no one, Caleb. There we go. That's be. a good fish. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. Looks almost like a flathead, believe it or not. It does. Oh. Nice channel cat. Oh, yeah. Probably I an eight. That. Probably an eight. Don't cross that line. Want me, want me to get him? Mm -hmm. No, I got it. <laughs> nice channel cat. There you go. There you go. All right, let me get out of the way. All right. That's what we're after. Look at his gut. Look at that gut. Boy. Got another one over here. All right, go ahead. I got him. I got him. All right, guys. There it is. We, pictures. we came into here. What? Pictures. Yeah, we came into here and watching our structure and watching our fish. We are fishing fish. Are you rolling? Yeah. All right, Caleb, go ahead and toss him back in. I got to wipe my hands off. I'm all slimed here. Off he goes. All right, let's do that again. Do you remember how much, what kind of, what did you do? You put half a bait on there? Half a bait. That half was a, a bait. tail piece. All right. We're going through some stuff right now. Should drag something else up. Well, we'll do that again. Try it again. I was only in about 17, 20 foot of water. Went very deep. Everything's so going on. Them off, again. I don't know. Oh, Big boy? Nah. I think I'm lost him. No, oh, you've got him on there. He's just not fighting very hard. Nope. He's just cruising in. Uh -huh. Cruising. Flapping in the wind there. All right. Another one for the boat. Oh, another fish for the boat. Let me have the rod. You can take care of the big bad boy. He's long slender. He's a hybrid, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. All right. It's getting a one. few fish, folks. Getting a few fish. Fish graze this shore. Now I need to go over that way, then. Yeah, we need to go to the left and hit the shore. All right, okay. It was that deep in there. Yeah, yeah okay. All right, all right. All right, let's go. It's 90 foot on that That's side. why I bought the bigger depth finder. I can't yeah. see the darn nothing. Yeah, we want to graze this corner right over here. We're gonna do well. All right, here's what I'm gonna do because I know, I know what's this way. Yeah. If we go that way, it's gonna be all humps, all back and forth. If we yeah. go that way. Yeah. Let's graze that corner, and we'll head that way, and then we'll come back up. If we don't hit anything here, we'll pull them up, fire up, go back. and we'll go right back where we came from. All, all right. right. Good little fella. Ah. He fought for a second, but... And we're alive. All right, guys. Jim here from Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. I told you I promised you today we'd do a live stream on the boat while we're catching fish. And uh, Caleb Rice here, co-hosting the show today. He's got him a... Oh, well, you got your flathead on there. All right. That's about the three fish that we've had today already. We got rained out last night, so we weren't able to come back and do another live stream. So we had to get off the lake early because a storm come up on us, but we're going to finish up today. And what we're doing right now is we're working up and down some humps. I can't show you here on the depth finder right now, but I, if you watch the show here coming up here in a couple of days, you'll be able to see it. But look at that, guys. 
nice little look at the color on him though i don't know if you've seen a, a, a flathead like that but anyhow we're working up and down some humps we're starting off in about 14 feet working down into 30 it seems to be where our fish are at because they're not in the deep water they're all in the shallow water here so we're going to cut this short i got to help caleb get this fish off here he wants to take a picture of his monster flathead there so we're going to be out with jason Bennett here later on this afternoon down on lake murray so you want to make sure you tune in there we'll do another live stream stream there we're going to catch some uh, stripers down there and we're just having a real nice day out here. It's a beautiful day today. The wind's blowing, keeping us cool. So, folks, we'll catch you here a little bit later on. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. And we're going to go back to fishing. Well, so that is a pretty fish. Though. Get a picture. Look at the color of Isn't that Isn't he pretty? Thing. That is Look pretty. That. Really nice. That's a pretty fish. <laughs> That is a nice I've never fish. seen one marbled that much. No, not marbled like that. I mean, he's not a big fish, but he's a real pretty one. Yeah. Well, you were right, Caleb. Coming up in this shallow water. That's where they're at. I'm going to try to work right across this point right here. And we'll probably pick up a few more. Yeah. So uh, it just seems to be what's working for us, guys. We, we come down off the hump over there. We caught them other two fish. We got down to 30 feet. We didn't see any bait. Had no fish on the bottom. We got no bites at all. So Caleb said, look, look at these two nice humps right here. We can hit this one hump, work right across it, and hit the other hump. And we know already know the fish are in the shallow water. It's the only place we're seeing them. So we're back up here on the hump. It is 22 feet deep right now. And it just seems to be that's where they're keying in this morning. So we're going to get baited back up. Going to keep going over this hump, and hopefully we'll get a few more fish for you. Hey, what? Got it. Clear. Boot. Look at that. Ooh. He grew. Come on now. Being lazy for a minute. Come on, cat. Come on over there, sweet pea. Come in the boat. Hello there. Ha ha. Boy, them are some nice eating fish right there. Oh, a couple of good fleas. One Great of that, fish. That side for you, that side for me. Mm-hmm. Yep, look at that hook just fell out. It did. That circle hook. Yep. As long as you kept tension on him, he wasn't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Oh, there he is. Another good channel cat. Haven't caught any Arkansas blues today, though. Just all been channel blues. cats. Picture. Picture. Yeah, might as well. Got him? Yep. Got him? Mm -hmm. I'm going to wipe my hands. Wipe my hands so you don't slobber up. Get the camera all slobby. They done went and caught me. <laughs> Put him back in. Way to go. Yeah, shut it down. Shut her down. No. Seems like we're getting we're most of the these pole. fish either when we're going down off the hump or when we're coming up the hump. Um, seems to be whenever we get into a transition when we're getting bites. And this, and the fish today and yesterday, they're not really taking it like they would down the Santee. Santee, when they take it, they load up the rod and they just hammer it. But here they're pecking at it a little bit, pecking at it, and then they might pull it down, but they might not. We're more or less having to just grab the rod and and, and hook them up, what we're, what we're having to do. That was a good spot. It was shallow, too. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get him. I'm going to try to stay right along the side of this island technique we're using I'll show you the rig here in a little bit is basically the same one I use all the time even it's the Santee Cooper drift fishing techniques what we're doing it works really good any lakes reservoir anything like that um, anything like you know any places like that any, any body of water this technique works really really good and it just helps you to cover more water going over more active fish. You can sit in one place and maybe catch two or three fish and not get another bite for a half an hour, 45 minutes. Why stay there when you can be drifting and constantly going over active fish? So that's why I use the drift fishing technique all the time. Now we're up to nine feet of water. Right off the top of that thing. Let's see which one we're going. 
to grab that rod, do you? Uh, yeah, he's got a little size to him. Yeah, it's not a bad one. You got him? Uh, oh, working on it. There we go. That's a top one. Right. You get him? Yeah. That's a good channel cat. Uh -huh. One thing for sure, look at boy, he's pretty. The channel cats we are catching today are decent sized channel cats. Don't let that line yeah. cut your don't let that line cut your in there. You are gonna need pliers. Just barely hanging on. You get it? Yeah, the ones we are catching, they're they're a pretty um, they're a pretty looking channel cat down mm -hmm. here. Have a good fish fry with these, huh? Sure. Yeah, they are pretty fish though. I mean, these are oh yeah, big, great fish. Really fish. nice colors. They're not marked up at all. Um, you mad at me, boy? There he goes. Determined to bite me. Umbrella in there. You know. Don't have it in there. Oh. Want to take him over or under this rod here? Uh, no, I think that one's out farther. So let's go. So I'll pull him in. Spider? He's got a little spirit to him. What is it with you and this side of the boat? Well, I'm telling you. Him down there quite a way. That water's good and clean. Yep, it's a pretty channel. Sure is. All right. A little fella. But he had some spunk to him. Yeah, he did. Not catching many big ones, but we're catching a bunch of small ones. <laughs> Hold still there, buddy. You got to yep. kind of put her bait on there, too. Hmm. What's he eating? Little fella. Eating on the bottom, isn't he? Yep. Way to go. Me and you hit you in the head with that bait on the way by. Oh, that's good luck. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks to change the side of the boat, uh, Caleb. Uh, how many is that now? I'm, I've lost count. I have two. How many for you? It's one for me and about ten for you. I mean, that's got to be... Um... We need to go get him a box of tissues, don't we? <laughs> that's got to be... What? Six or seven already. Yeah, I'd say at least seven. Yeah. I mean, it's been a decent day, ain't it? Yeah. Ain't no way of fishing a tournament. They're not tournament fish, but no. they're, they're good if size. I was going to take a bunch to go home to eat, I'd rather mm -hmm. have that than have big ones. Oh, yeah. Finally, yeah. my luck has changed. We were just talking about whether to move or not. Why is he going? It's a striper. It's a striper, is it? I think. It's off. It's moving a lot. Well, he, that's why I think it's a yeah. striper. Mm -hmm. you go over these rods? Yeah. 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 He's rolling. He stopped flopping his head. Yeah, it feels like a striper. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a big catfish. That's a big catfish. Oh, that's catfish. a big catfish. Big old boy. I've never seen him swim like that. Spitting that some. Come on. Oh, yeah. Big old channel. See if I can catch him this side. Really right. Oh, in case, yeah. case you're wondering why we're manhandling these fish, we left and uh, the other morning, really? yesterday morning, I forgot the net. It's on the other boat. It sure did. That's why right. I kept saying that's, that's going to be a striper. It's going to be a striper because when he, Ready? I mean, he caught, we caught him on the. Get your butt back over there. On that side of the boat we were going. <laughs> There's a line right yeah, here. That's a line. Your side, line my there. side. Who's rock is this? for sure. Well folks, I want to thank you for tuning in today's show. Uh, we had a good good time out there today. It got really hot on us and we've got to head down to 
uh, Columbia, South Carolina now to do a show with Jason Bennett. So another couple hours we'll be back on the water again, doing it all over again. Caleb, I want to thank you for I being on the show. We had a great yeah. time today. Stop by this man's store in Hickory, North Carolina, I'm Table Rock Outdoors, and check him out. He's got all kinds of hunting and fishing equipment, all kinds of camping gear, hiking gear, you name it. Caleb's got it. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching our show today. We hope you pre uh, really appreciate you tuning in. I'm Jim from Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. Catch you somewhere next time in the great outdoors when we do it all again. Thanks for watching.